Right, so I've got the Stig of Welders with me. Um, here's a Stig now. Um, he wants to see me do a bit of welding with the new welder. And I'll hand it over to him um, and we'll see what he says with my welding and we'll see what he can achieve with this welder. There we go, that's what I've just done. What do you think? Very nice, mate. Come on. <laughs> You're trying not to laugh. Honest opinion. It ain't going to fall apart. That's right. for sure. That's what I've always said. Oh, we'll put it in the press. Let's put it in the press then. Let's put it in the press. See what this can go up to, what it holds. Make sure we keep that in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Three. Well, it didn't even register a ton, and it's bending. But then you could argue that it was only welded one side. That's my excuse, anyway. didn't break. It's more good enough than that. It just bent. But it does look like it peeled away. You look right down in there so you can see. Right, so this is with the Stig of Welders having a go. The mistake I made. Only tacked them out of one side. Yeah, I'll let you have a look at that one first, see what you think of that one. Okay, quite a blow one. Right, perhaps if I put the hand on the right foot. Felt like it welded very well. And this is what a pro achieves with this welder. Shows I clearly don't know what I'm doing. It does look lovely. Side number two. So now we'll put this one in the press and see 
that this doesn't fail. Right, so this is the one that the Stig of Wilders has done. Let's see what it goes up to. Not breaking. It's a two ton. <laughs> That's two ton. And seeing as that is starting to move, I'm almost certain I shouldn't go any further. But it's holding two tons. River point holding two tons and I'm only stopping because it's getting a bit dodgy. So yeah, very impressed. So as you can see, as the stick of welders has pointed out, the bar bent, not the weld. If you come in a bit closer for it, you can literally see the bar bent, the weld held good. To me, that says it all. So definitely mine was operator error, and um, Stig of Wilders being the Stig of Wilders, you expect him to be uh, bloody brilliant. I know he is, and it's just proven it. Bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. Right, so on this one, we're gonna do a T-joint. press to see how that holds in that position. This is old stick welder on that. That stick's passing over you, mate. Lovely. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Nothing worse than doing something in front of a professional. Right. There we go then. Man, not free, man. There you go, that's what I've just achieved. Man can weld. Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah. There you go, then. Right. Right. Welding stick back on it again. That's what World Instinct has just achieved. Better than mine. Expected. Oh, on par, mate. Ain't, ain't much difference in that at all. Just cap the ends off and then. Uh... Okay. He's gonna work. Cut the mask. Blind this other one. And cap the ends, as he just said. So you just cap the ends off, we'll set it up in the press this way, clamp it and press down on here, you'll see in a second. <laughs> right, <laughs> so this is how we've got it set up, you can see clamped to the side here, I'm going to pump it down. The wrong way to go there, isn't it? 
Yep. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, it says that to me. <laughs> I'll just get the tip in and get told that's enough. So happy that. We there yet? That's what the kids always say. <laughs> You don't yet, no? Huh? Not <laughs> that you don't yet. <laughs> right. Fell off now. Contact. <laughs> right. The tip is on the point. We ready to rock and roll, yeah? We are, man. Go for it. I think that's just slipping, slipping down there. You're just pushing it. Did you push one out? <laughs> I was tightening and you pushed it out. Yeah. No, it's just sliding sli it. Can't hold it. Oof. Mmm. We'll recess. So change of plans. It kept slipping in the press, so we'll go old fashioned. We've got it clamped up in the vise and we're gonna hit it with a big hammer. Mmm. One more. Well, again, the metal's bent, weld stayed intact. Okay, I'll square for you. Yep, as Weld and Stig just said, the weld did not budge and the metal bar bent. I'd say that's a bloody good job. Right. So, Weld and Stig's a bit shy, doesn't want to come off camera. <laughs> He's going to stand behind it and do silly things to make me laugh. Oh no! <laughs> don't want to know um, but he's happy to talk on you know, behind the camera so well, stick your opinion for cost and performance of the welder compared to what I've had in the past I'd say your welders more than mid-range even though it probably comes in at a mid-range um, I'll see for a hobbyist for anything that you're gonna be doing it's gonna be brilliant mm -hmm. Um, to rebuilding a car? Oh, well, without a doubt, I mean, the amps that you're going to use and the power that you're actually going to use for building a car is going to be nothing in comparison to what we've put it through today. I mean, we, we haven't used it as maximum, but we haven't had to. I mean, we've we just welded, what, that six mil, eight mil bar? Yeah. And yeah, fair enough, we have put a bit of a prep into it to get the weld actually into it and make it strong. But I see it's like done to a bit of pressure. That's <laughs> fine. So, keeping a straight face there. But yeah, carry on. But no, so again, cost wise, performance wise, mm -hmm. the world is phenomenal. I mean, I'd recommend it to anybody starting out. I'd even probably go to people that are already pros and just want something at home. Mm -hmm. It's just an all round. For, good for the price of £418. Yeah, again, I paid more than that for a, an Artec one. And the performance of the Artec one in comparison, again, yours is better than what I bought. And I, in, in all honesty, I used mine a few times, never got on with it, and sold it. And you're a professional. Indeed, I'm used to using the bigger ones, mm -hmm. like three phase machines and whatnot, but now yours for homework, any sort of like hobbies, mm -hmm. great, perfect. So bring on the Mini. Mini, roll cage. Uh, I've got to say, if you look away, that one, move out of the way, so we've got Andale. Andale! <laughs> Rima! Rima! He's been dying to say that. <laughs> Ever since he walked in, he said it when he walked in, had me in stitches. Um, but yeah, so my opinion, uh, as I said in my last video, I'm thoroughly impressed with it, and I'm not a pro. Um, it definitely helped me with the whole the way the wire speed and the amps go up together. Um, help me set the machine up a lot quicker um, rather than having to try a bit no adjust try a bit adjust um, real simple real easy and I really like that side of it um, ease of setup so easy I mean again I, I'm not a novice I know how to set the machine up but for somebody that's a first time user fantastic so easy just follow the instructions albeit they are a bit I mean, I've got to show you those instructions because they are they are funny. Um, they're, they're very contradicting, aren't they? Yeah, and then there's the whole grammar side of it, and we mean so they're like how I wrote them. 
Oh no, wor <laughs> no worse. Really? Worse. Oh yeah, it literally looks like Google Translate from Chinese to English. There, it's with a few hieroglyphics in there at the same time. Exactly that. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's be honest. When we, we the, the magazines we buy, we look at the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> Um, doing and we're, we're on about car magazines, obviously. Um, what people haven't washed their cars are dirty pages. Dirty, dirty pages, yeah, the, the, the ones where they've been off-roading. But yeah, so it's... Stuck in a rut, I mean mud. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, in my opinion, if you're thinking of getting this Andelli 200 meg, well, 200, meg 200p, and get it right, I'd say buy it. Because the price, the performance, ease of use, I mean, it's multi process. If, if that's something you'd need, fantastic. If not, and you're just going to be MIG welding, perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a very good friend, you know, welder Stig, that can alley weld for me. So it has the ability to alley weld. I'd probably use it just to tack it together and, and ask Wild and Stig to do it for me. Um, be a much nicer job, that's for sure. Um, but definitely, you've heard a pro say it, if you're thinking of buying this, you know, go for it. It's a no-brainer. Hope that helps. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to start recording. And don't make me laugh. <laughs> Table pig. Yeah, with him stuck around the camera, it's going to make me laugh. Ah, oh, dear. Right, so, Wild and Stig's a bit shy, he doesn't want to come on the camera, but. Oh, don't get. <laughs> I've got to start again now. Right.